after an earlier standoff with the Committee on Rules, Privileges and Discipline that was followed by threats of charging the ministers with contempt of parliament, Government Chief Whip Lumumba Kasule and Junior Foreign Affairs Minister Henry Okelo Riem finally accepted to give testimony under oath. Okelo Henry Oriem swear that the evidence I shall give touching the matters before the committee shall be the truth, the world truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. First to appear before the committee was Foreign Affairs State Minister Henry Okelo Oriem, who expressed shock at the proceedings of the 27th of November, saying it is incumbent upon legislators to uphold the dignity of parliament. <laughs> For me to be told here that uh, it is normal for, uh, for us to jump and shout uh, in parliament, it is not normal. Okay? You can make your views heard uh, okay. firmly, you can move uh, effectively and, and practically, you can make your views heard, but you do not jump into uh, a, a mob. He, however, defends the speaker against accusations of failure to steer the proceedings in an orderly manner, insisting that he feared for the speaker's life that fateful day. Never in my life have I ever seen any speaker run from the, or rather flee, from the back of the, <laughs> the, of the chambers. And uh, this turned me. Me, I thought it was a question of security rather than uh, security of the speaker rather than of the maze. So, in my, my, my opinion, I thought this, all these fuckers were attempt to just to attack the, the speaker. But when it was the turn of the government chief with Kasule Lumumba to testify, she had totally a different view on the root cause of the mayhem that rocked parliament. Because it happened, as I said, during the debate when parliament was recalled, during the debate of where allegations were made against certain individuals, members of parliament, it was more or less the same. No action was taken. She insists the incident under probe is as a result of a series of failures by the Speaker to adhere to the rules of procedure and requirements of dignity of the House, even after a court pronouncement. Since there has been laxity on the side of the Speaker, when I'm talking of the Speaker, I mean Speaker and Deputy Speaker because it's one office. They never took action the first time, no action second time. And we are even now actually talking of only the three, I'm only mentioning the three, but there have also been some instances where members have misbehaved on the floor. The government chief whip admitted to having had a hand in staring up the shouting that rocked the house. I went and talked to the lead of government business and he never responded. I stood at, behind and looked at people who were standing up, one of search Kuba and his colleagues. And now I say it, and I even said I've not heard it, but I said it, that this has turned into a political alley. It is no longer parliament. This is politics at play. Members also stand up. She as well faults the parliamentary commission for failing to adequately orient members of parliament on how to conduct themselves in an honorable manner. Attorney General Peter Nyombi, Education Minister Jessica Lupo, and Defense Minister Crispus Kionga are also expected to appear before the committee. Sabit Joseph, WC Television, Parliament.